Hello there. Welcome to my latest video. In this one, I go back to the coin shooting field. I'm using the E-Track. I'm taking my son with me. He's using a Vista Gold, which we've got to do some tests on. Unfortunately, I haven't set it up very well. And um, I need to read the instructions before we set it up. It still did find quite a few finds, but um, a little few of the signals were a little bit erratic, which they shouldn't be. That's my fault. I do apologize. Um, we also go with a friend of mine called Jimmy the Horse who's using a Garrett Euro Ace. Uh, he also makes some pretty good finds as well. So watch it, see what you think. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. This is James using the Deep Tech Vista Gold. Got a nice signal here, so we're going to give it a dig. That's his first coin with the gold, 1932 half penny. Looks like it's been through a cement mixer, that one. It's in atrocious condition. This is a good one, reading 12.32 on the E-Track. It's a coin ball. This field produces so many coin balls, it's unreal. And it's a little farthing. 1942 with the rain on. This one's reading 1242. And it looks like another coin. Which it is, it's a 1928 penny. It's interesting, it's a huge lump of coal. The E-Track just absolutely ignored it. The Vista Gold gave a pretty good signal off that. It looks like a mini cave. Now then, this is the point in the video where Jimmy calls me over and says, look what I found in this hole. I grab the video camera, open it up, fail to press record, and we look in the hole. There's two half crowns in the same hole. One's 1942 and the other one's 1944. So I missed that bit. I do apologize. In fact, I apologize to Jimmy more than anybody because that was a great find and it really deserved to be caught on film. This one's reading the 1234 on the E-Track. Modern half pence. Well, that is a small coin. It's not a coin. Oh. It's a washer. A washer? <laughs> what is a washer? It's a washer. I thought, I thought you put a bolt through. Oh, weird. It's a tiny little washer. Did well to pick that up. Hello, dogs. You want to help dig? Yeah. Go on, dig. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> dig for victory. <laughs> This one's reading 1242. Very strong signal with the E-Track. <laughs> another threepenny bit, three pence. Three pence. And it's another threepenny bit. I think it's about there. We did get them. There might be two signals there. <laughs> What sort of coin? Uh, well, it's also. Awesome. Let's have a look. It's awesome. Well, I said it's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. It's a 1942 Florin. Whoops. Two shillings. What we've got this time, Jimmy? Well, unless someone's got a very strange shaped finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of modern copper. Is it? Nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. But it didn't give a great signal either. Yes. So it's just above ring pull. Worth a dig. Worth a dig. There's something here. James has found it with a Vista Gold. I've gone over with the E-Track. His has got a, he's got a good, clear two-way signal. Mine reads 1243, 
Jimmy's also going to go over it with the Euro Ace and he's going to see what it says as well. That's gone to Ferris. Has it? I'll just try the pinpointer. Picks a large signal up. I would not dig that with this. Let's put it that way. So you wouldn't dig it with I that? I wouldn't dig that. No. Have a, have a go over then, James. So Jimmy's Euro Ace is saying it's a large, possibly ferrous signal. So he wouldn't have dug it, I would have dug it. It also sounds good on the Vista Gold as well. So we're just going to go over it again with the gold. Yeah, that's a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> Don't what was a triple unite, unite, now a double unite. <laughs> What's this? Oh, no, it's, it's a coin. It's a coin. It's a coin. It's a coin. Yep, it's a big old penny. Looks like George V. Could be iron in the hole as well. Like that's the thing. I, mm -hmm. that definitely red ferrous. That and it, it 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 wouldn't pinpoint it. At this point, it's all getting a bit predictable. We're finding coins, most of them copper, the odd silver. Blah de blah de blah. We've done it a million and one times, so we decide to head up the bank into some fields which are now pasture uh, and they used to be ploughed quite a lot of years ago, quite near a crossroads where a drover's road comes up, crosses over the existing road which was possibly Roman. Most roads are pro most roads around here originally were Roman. So we give that a bash and we'll have some pretty good results in there. It's a pretty strong signal with the Vista Gold. Tell you what, how much? How much? Silver? <laughs> it's a it's a silver hammered coin. The portrait side's nearly gone. I don't think there is enough writing on there to get something off of later yeah. on. It's a nice find. That's it's cool, a, James. It's a very good find. Well done. Best find of the day. Very. <laughs> well done that, indeed. James? Charles II shilling? Possibly, not sure. Upon closer inspection, it's actually Charles I shilling, not Charles II. If it was a Charles II one, it'd be worth quite a bit, even in that condition, because they're really rare. But unfortunately, well, not that unfortunate, it's still a great find, it's Charles I. Mm. It's all right, yeah. That's a pretty good signal, there's a bit of a tinge of iron to it. We'll give it a dig. <laughs> well. <laughs> no wonder there was a bit of an iron tinge to it. <laughs> Look at that. That's massive. Is it heavy? It's, it's quite heavy. It's heavy, all right. Big old lump of iron. This one's reading, I can't remember what it was, 1118. Dug a lot of lead, but it's still worth a dig.
<laughs> Get in. By the looks of it, it's a Elizabeth the first. Half groat, I would say. Excellent. <laughs> that one was with the E-Track. James has got a really good signal here with the Vista Gold. I've been over the E-Track. Uh, mine has no signal whatsoever. No matter how fast I go, any direction, go over slow, increase the sensitivity, no signal at all. So I don't really know what I'm digging for here. Big lump of coke. coke. Nice. Well, so we've been ma making a total balls of digging this one out. Jimmy's found a ring. <coughs> nice bit of detail on the top there. Oh, no, yeah. Morning, it's like the sun. morning sun. Morning sun, I would say. Yeah. It's more than likely going to be silver with a good clean. But it's definitely silver, that Jimmy. Definitely yeah. silver. Nice dark patina on it. I don't know how clear that's going to come out, but it's a silver ring. It's kind of like a, the morning rays of the sun. Very nice indeed. Nice find. Unfortunately, it probably won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Not fit your stumpy fingers. <laughs> no, I'm sure it won't. It's a nice ring. It's better than, apart from that gold one that I had to give back, it's better than any ring I've ever found. <laughs> well, if you hadn't had to give that gold ring back, they wouldn't be here today finding more things, would we? Well, that's it. No. I've had a kind of day. It's been it's awesome. As far as uh, hammered and crowns go, anyway. Yeah. About half crown, I guess, yeah. That sounds totally different to mine, you know. It sounds much cleaner. It's just because it's new, mate. That way. <laughs> <laughs> I would say yours has had a bit more stick, in all fairness. I hope there's five in, there's five in one coin. <laughs> and it's lead. <laughs> lead. Right, then put that back. Boom, boom, boom. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I've got a good signal down there. Have you? Let's have a look then. Point. Hey! <laughs> that was a bad guess, was it? Very clear sign. Yeah. It's a threepenny bid. It is, it's in there. Oh, might be under there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Giant. Oh, hold on. Well, you didn't turn <laughs> didn't it on. Didn't have it switched on. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens to me all the time. I never actually switch it on. Yeah. It's clean. It's another George the Sixth half penny. This one's reading 12.39 on the E-Track. There you go. Yeah. Another half penny. This one's reading 12.36. Definitely worth a dig. Went over it with the Vista Gold as well, give a lovely clear signal. Yep. Yeah, another half penny. Another. I've lost that shilling. <laughs> you haven't, have you? <laughs> I'm sure I had it in my hand. I don't know where it's gone. Which shilling? The Charles II one. That one. No, that's that's the, the little Elizabeth one. Definitely had it here, like. Good. You were going to pass there. Definitely had it. Are you sure I didn't give it to you? Yeah. Oh. Well done, well that's it there, isn't it? Where? How many do you have? Three? Oh, it's there, man. Yes. Ah. <laughs> I thought I'd lost this. <laughs> ah. That's a very rough, it's a rough strike, that, isn't it? Yeah, but I found it was fine. You did, oh yes, that's right. Well, we've all made decent finds. James has got hammered 
Charles the Second Shillin. Ah! Charles the First! Damn you! I've got an Elizabeth Hammond half groat. Jimmy found two half crowns and a silver ring. And we found a host of coins as well. We'll give you a close up of them now. That's Jimmy's. Very nice indeed. That's mine. Not as much silver in there. And this is James's. Jimmy donated him the half crown. For the... <laughs> we did a swap for a yeah, nice they, florin as they well. Swapped, swapped the florin for a half crown. So Jim, I, James found the florin. I think I got the bum deal, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look what else you found then, James. A few, a few coins there. Three fees. That was with a Vista Gold, first time ever using it. To be honest, I haven't even looked at the instructions yet. So we probably <laughs> didn't even have it set up right. Hammered silver. That's... That's the Charles II Shillin. Ah! Charles I! Damn you! Very worn. Nice old hammered. And I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I do. I know what that is. What? That's actually a lead token. Good. Well, very, very little detail on it, though. And, and a buckle as well. A buckle. That looks like a balloon. So that's it. Nice hunt. How long have we been out? Three hours, maybe. Three hours. We've all got a handful of coins. We've all found silver. There's been a silver ring and two hammered found. And a watch, which is possibly gold round the edges, not sure. Thoroughly decent dig. Well, that's it for me. That's another great hunt down. We all had a great time. Hope you had a good time watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube and you've liked it, click the thumbs up, click the like button. And if you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button as well. So until next time, adios. Thanks for watching.